We'll guide you through how to fix the Wi-Fi option missing in settings in Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying. So if I go and open up my settings now, I'll come over to the left and click on network and internet. You can go and see Wi-Fi is missing. And if I click on the sound and internet button in the bottom right of my computer, it's missing there as well. So first of all, do just make sure you do have a Wi-Fi adapter installed in your computer. It may be built into the motherboard, or you may have a Wi-Fi card or even a USB. Make sure you have one. If you don't, you can always get a USB one. I'll link some down below. I'm assuming you already have one as it's gone missing though. So then what you need to do is come to the bottom of your computer, click on search and type in device manager. Open this up, come over to the left and you need to go and find network adapters. Click on the arrow to expand it. Locate your adapter, mine is this one here, and we can go and see it's got this little gray icon on the icon. So if you then right click on it, we've got the option for enable device. This means it's disabled. So make sure you go and enable it. If it was already enabled, don't worry, you can go to the next method. But if you have just enabled it, go and see if it's now solved. As you can see, I've now got the option for Wi-Fi and it's working now. However, if that didn't work for you, the next thing you want to do is just come back to it, your device manager, Right click on it, click on update driver, and you could do an automatic search for drivers and Windows will just make sure it's got the best one. Go and see if the option is now appearing in your settings. If it still isn't, come to your network and internet settings. And all you need to do is go and scroll down to advanced network settings, then go and scroll down again and you want to click on network reset. So what we can do is go and remove and reinstall all of our network adapters and that will hopefully go and solve the problem. So you can click on reset now, confirm a decision by pressing yes. Now in five minutes, your computer is going to shut down and perform a restart. So go and wait for that. After the reset has taken place, that will hopefully go and solve the problem and hopefully the option should be back. If you found this useful, then leave a like.